so in this uh, part b of this instance i will be uh, part b of the series yes i will be launching an ec2 instance using linux 2 uh, amazon linux opti2 micro with vpc defaults and also the iam role which i have created earlier okay uh, and then i will also use this and then see verify whether my system is uh, true or not okay so let me go ahead for launching my ec2 instance so here i have i'm just duplicating i'll go to my ec2 service so i can launch an instance i'll select amazon ec2 to micro it's fine so these are all uh, defaults but i am role i'm selecting here you can see this role on uh, ec2 please select that the remaining all can be kept in defaults here i'll just the post translation script i will just copy this and uh, okay add stories leave it default add tags configure your security group okay also add this http and https ports anywhere preview and launch okay launch this one this instance okay the instance is getting launched so uh, once the installation is done please verify whether uh, the code deployment is done properly or not uh, to ensure the accuracy sometimes uh, the script here may not uh, work so here what you need to do is that for the code deployment just go to this url uh, and ensure that this is the correct method of uh, getting your code deployment so what you do is that w get uh, this bucket name dot s3 see bucket name in my case uh, it is uh, north virginia aws code deploy hyphen us east one and region identifier is so so hence uh, the command syntax will be something like which i show you so here Okay. User. Let me check my post translation script is ready. So here, so once you run this, what happens is uh, the code deploy, the script install script will be downloaded to your EC2 home folder. So you can uh, verify this ls minus l. You can see this uh, install folder, and then run this. Uh, dot install you can even do this ch mod plus x uh, the execute permission and then this run install run install uh, install auto it should take a couple of uh, seconds time and then it will uh, install uh, the code deployment with this uh, the second part is uh, done 
you can see this is my installed script and then I ran this uh, dot install so here you can see the script comes and then yes the installation is complete so yes now I can go ahead with the third step of part C that's all about uh, this uh, part B and then let us move ahead with the part C So part C is uh, basically create an application using in uh, using this code deploy. Okay, 